Joseph Singirigabo is raising his three grandkids alone at 78. Ebola swept through his family, claiming the lives of his wife, son, and his newborn granddaughter in a few short weeks. They're picking up the pieces after the children's mother fled from the disease. While Joseph was in mandatory 21-day quarantine, he says his only assets were stolen, his livestock. The problem I'm facing is getting food for me and my grandchildren. Secondly, I never went to school, but I want them to get an education. Did you ever imagine you would be left taking care of your young grandchildren alone? I knew that at any time I would die, and their father would take care of them. Uganda declared its first Ebola outbreak in a decade here, in the central district of Mubande, in late September. Cases soon spread to a neighboring district, and the government has since restricted movement in and out of them. Ebola treatment units like this one were quickly set up to treat positive cases and to quarantine anyone they had come into contact with. This is the reality of what it means when Ebola breaks out in your community. That is a three-month-old baby that's a suspected Ebola case. The mother is down with Ebola, and so is one of the siblings, and she already lost her dad to the virus. Sometimes when it rains, it pours. Six Ugandan districts now have Ebola cases, including the capital, Kampala. Though the rate of new infections appears to have slowed down, doctors say not all the sick are turning up. Some of the patients, they are still hiding. And some of them, they don't know that they have Ebola. So they are in the community there. It is very easy for one case to have a very big multiplier effect. So we are not yet confident whether the number is going down. The Sudan Ebola virus strain now circulating in Uganda has no approved vaccine, but the country is launching three trial vaccines with contacts of confirmed cases. These trial vaccines have been tested for safety. So our further testing is about efficacy and how long it protects. We want to see if within 29 days the contacts can quickly generate antibodies and can protect themselves. Armed police watch over Ebola treatment units to block people from sneaking back into the community. Ugandan authorities say myths and misconceptions tied to culture or religion are holding back progress in containing the outbreak. All traditional healers and witch doctors are prohibited from carrying out their activities during this Ebola outbreak. The number of probable cases. Uganda's health minister told CNN she expects to have the Ebola outbreak under control by April if citizens follow government guidelines. Do you feel the international community doesn't give Uganda enough credit for your experience in dealing with previous Ebola outbreaks and therefore having this under control? This is our eighth Ebola outbreak. Every time we get an outbreak, our experience increases. What we need is to be supported to end this epidemic as quickly as possible. Uganda is closing the school year early and sending kids home to avoid spreading Ebola among them as vigilance becomes a common tune. Larry Midowo, CNN, Kampala.